Good morning, honey badgers and cheetahs. Today I have a fun little art project for you guys. Um, on Monday, Teacher Tony talked about coral reefs for the honey badgers, and we are going to do a coral reef art project. And it's very, very simple. You just need some coffee filters or paper towels would work. Um, I have a paper towel just so I can put my coffee filters on there because we are going to uh, watercolor it or if you don't have watercolor like I don't have watercolor I'm using markers and water so get your art supplies markers cough filters or towels water and some pipe cleaners for when we are ready to put our coral reef together so the first thing we have to do is get one of our coffee filters and we are going to color it in we're gonna make it very very colorful and after we're done coloring it we're gonna spray a little bit of water on it make the waters make the colors blend a little and we will make some really cool um, colored coral reefs are you guys ready so let's All do right. it you guys ready to color with me if you have watercolor it'll work just fine but I don't have watercolor at home so I'm using some markers so you can come color with me you can color it all one color or you can make it different kinds of colors I'm gonna make mine different colors and my coral reef are gonna be different and so you want to color um, multiple multiple coffee filters or more than one so when it dries and when we're ready to put it together it'll make a big coral reef when you have more it'll make a bigger one so let's color Okay guys, so I finished coloring one of my coffee filters and if you are doing watercolor you just have to put it aside and let it dry and once it's dried we can move on to the second part of this project. But if you're using markers like I am, if you have water in a spray bottle, you want to spray it. Not too much water because we don't want it to fall apart, but a little bit of water and all the colors look it's gonna start blending it's gonna look really really cool so you put a paper towel or a tray so that you don't your water doesn't get everywhere so we're gonna let that blend and let that mix together you can add a little bit more water so you want to make multiple of these you want to make more than one so i'm here's one that's done if this is what it looks like with paper towels it still looks really cool so the more marker you put on there, the more color is gonna show up. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna make more. I'm gonna let it dry, and then we can move on to our second part of this project. I made all these different watercolored, marker colored water coffee filters, and now I'm gonna let it dry. It needs to be completely dried until we can move on to our next part of the project. So be patient. Okay, so I got all my um, coffee filters. They're all dry now. If you're not as patient, like teacher Ellen wasn't that patient, I helped it out with a blow dryer. I dried it, so I let it dry by itself for about five minutes and then I wasn't very patient. So I blow dry it, helped it out a little bit, so it was a little bit faster and it had to wait as long. So, or you can be very, very patient and wait for it to dry by itself. Um, so if, when you have all your coffee filters dried, they should look like this. Isn't that cool? They look like tie-dye. Pretty cool, right? Um, watercolor will work just as fine if you don't do it the way I'm doing it. They're awesome. All right, so the next part, you're gonna need a pipe cleaner. Um, if you don't have it, a stick works just fine too. Any sort of stick um, or even a pen. All you We're gonna use this as the base of the coral reef we are going to poke a hole in the middle and we're gonna make it um, look like, kind of like a flower. This is the stem and these are the buds. Um, so we're gonna poke a hole through that. And once we have one in, you guys can see, it looks like that. Kind of looks like a big flower. And then we're gonna keep putting, um, keep putting the, the filters on our pipe cleaner. Poke a hole in the middle and slip it through. I'm gonna stack three and let's see how big it is. We might be able to make two. So you can make as many as you want because the more you make, the bigger and the better your um, coral reef is. So I put three 
coffee filters together. Now I'm gonna scrunch it up. Next, I need to get my scissors. I'm gonna cut little um, little slits, and it's gonna look like corn. I scrunched it up, and now I'm making slits into our kind of like a flower, and it looks like a big giant flower which is kind of what coral reefs are. They're a living thing, just like flowers are living things. Um, looks like a very colorful flower. This is after I cut it and then I scrunched it up some more. I just squeezed the sides like this and I scrunched it up and then it looks like a piece of coral. A piece of coral that is attached to a rock hanging out in the ocean. I hope you guys try this and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.